So I decided, this is my country. This is my world. These are my people. And on my world, with my people, I am the king. And as the king of the United States of America, wait a minute, don't give a damn about a monarchy here. Fuck. I don't want to be king anymore of America. I'll just be me. Um, my son made the honor roll, and it was very enlightening to go to his school today and see him go through this. And I love the fact that he's eclipsed me in so many different ways that I can only be proud of my son. Um, he's made the honor roll at least 10 times, 15, 20 times, I don't know. It's like almost a common. Uh, earlier in the year, his grades wasn't all that, you know, they give you a progress report. And he still squeaked out the honor roll. It's not as high as some of the other numbers he's got, but shit, I'm just proud that my son is going doing what he's gotta do to make it to the next level. Um, my only regret is that my batteries ran out on my camera, so I couldn't take the last two people who received their um, awards. Now, the funny part about it is there are four African Americans or Americans of Afro descent or brown Americans of the dark brown blend out of all of those six, I think it's four or six, three of them made the honor roll. And don't get me wrong, once I put the video up, it'll be under a different channel so everybody can watch it. I appreciate the fact that my son is going to a predominantly Hispanic school. Um, not because he may be smarter than some of them, not because it is, not because they're, they're, they're not white, or not because any of that stuff like that. It's because he has a chance to go to school with people who speak a different language. He has a chance to go to school and communicate with, to learn and meet friends with the people who are predominantly, you know, in other words, they're the majority in the community. Why would my son go to school with a bunch of white kids and get treated wrong when he can go to school with a bunch of Mexican kids and get treated wrong? I don't know. Moral of the story is this. He has great friends at this school. He has lots of friends at this school. Um, his white friends, uh, two of them left the school. Um, one moved and the other left because I think it was too hard. This is a university preparatory school. They prepare you for college. Not, it's not a regular high school. Um, I'm so proud of my son. And I'm so proud of all those other young kids there that did what they had to do. Growing up in the community that we live in with the gangs and the violence. As many times I've been doing videos, ain't nobody heard no gunshots jumping off. So um, the gangs and the violence and all of the drugs and drama and stress and bullshit in the community. You see, my son, as well as those other 30 or 40 Hispanic people, get up and get honored for their academics was great. Because at the other schools he went to, with when there was more white population, it was the same thing. You'd see large groups of Hispanics and blacks getting on the honor roll. And the choice select white kids would make the honor roll and you'd hear bad shit at least I did I did I heard bad things um, when I was working at the fairgrounds and I go brag about my son making the honor roll 
and other employees that were there, some of the white employees whose kids went to the same school, they didn't like the fact that my son made the honor roll. So when I brag about my son making the honor roll, it's more like, can't be your son. He made the honor roll. I didn't think you can do that. Your wife must be proud. And now I get, right on, man. You're too, mine too, man. Ha <laughs> ha! At least we know we don't have the two dumbest kids in school. And I appreciate that. I appreciate the fact that all of these kids were honored without hecklers because there are people who heckled at the other school. Oh, another one of them guys. Shit like that. I mean, and when you watching your kids go through things, you don't want them to have any negativity. And let me go ahead and, um, and mention one thing. We, we're from the Roseland District. Okay? This is not the most affluent of communities because you know back in the days it was but now this is old this is old right here this is old shit here so um my son was on the soccer team the year they won the um what's it called the uh, AJ City Cup I'm sorry never mind so they won the City Cup and they were going up against Fountain Grove the rich kids and I'm not being racist but it seems like how all these little racist incidents come up. We're going to beat these Mexicans. We're going to cream them. And I'm like walking by, you know. I'm like, you know, I'm like, hey, which team you guys are playing? We're playing those losers in the green. Oh, okay. My son's on that team. And I want to tell you right now, you guys are going to get beat pretty hard. And I want you to know that because your noses are in the air. And now your kids are going to cry for it. I said it. I'm not going to pull any punches. These guys were bashing our kids because they're from the so-called Mexican neighborhood. So, it was two to nothing the first half. You know, you know the, the snobs were up on us and shit, you know, but it's all good and everything. And then the guys laugh, and I'm like, watch. Well, the game ended, and when the game ended, it was six to two. And... There's a first place trophy, which is about this big. And there's a sportsmanship trophy, which is this big. And then there's another trophy. Now, we won the City Cup. It was great. The kids were happy. They didn't win the sportsmanship trophy because apparently they ran up the score. But when the score was two to nothing and the other team was, ha, 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 blah, 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 blah. Rich kids, nice uniforms, everything. It's all fine and dandy. So called poor kids win, they're bad sportsmen. So, like I said, I'm proud that my son made the honor roll. He's done so many great things and all these great accomplishments. Anybody else would be just as happy. And I like to see the fact that he's growing up in an area that's multi dimensional. So he's white, black, Hispanic, Eritrean. He has friends from all around, all different nationalities and different colors. That's a hell of a lot more than I had growing up. And I'm just proud of him. You can't be no more proud of your kids. I am just hate the fact that I can't rub it in on those people. I used to rub it in. But hey, they're the ones that called me nigger and ran me out of Dodge in the first place. You got a good story to tell people respecting you, good and whatever. Just be happy that your kids are going to school. And always tell when your kid accomplished something. Because those parents who don't care what their children do end up as parents who bury their children. Till next time, you've been too. So, how's your day so far, sweetheart? You like me to... Would you like me to cook you anything? Yeah, it's not okay. Would you like me to cook you anything? And I'm tired Would you like me to cook off. you anything? Oh, so I gotta sit here and argue now? No, I'm not I'm trying to argue. argue I'm having a good day. I'm sure. You know what? <laughs>